a 163 carats emerald cut D color diamond. Emeralds, diamonds, and more than 1,700 hours of work between Dubai, New York, and Geneva. From the discovery of the 404 carats in the heart of the Angolan lands to the presentation of Creation One in Hong Kong, through the various stages of manufacture, discover the behind the scenes of the Grisogono's know-how. An immersion at the heart of the work of the men and women who have worked for months in total secrecy to achieve excellence and perfection in order to create an unprecedented work of art. I think you could get some really incredible feeling for a wonderful piece of jewelry that you're going to come with. So this is exactly where the 404 was, was found. So we're just standing in front of the area, right? Yes. yes. Being here, you imagine the quantity of work and of dedication that led to this beautiful stone. A lot of luck is involved. They've been doing quite a good job in finding some exceptional stones. They scrape off the top of the earth and then they go down to the gravel, where we hope that there are diamonds. After four billion years in the making, it's a lot of emotion. This stone is uh, an exceptional stone, 404 carats. And what's incredibly fun for me is that I get to work with a jeweler, a designer, somebody who has equal passion in a different part of our business, and that's Fawaz. In my career uh, of almost 48 years, I was excited several times, but I have to say this time could not believe my eyes uh, of the beauty of the stone. It is a rough of, of around 404 carats, and you can see it already without no doubt, it's gonna be an exceptional diamond. One of the biggest, flawless, clean, beautiful, colorless diamonds in the world. When Fowers sees an incredible gem. You can see his eyes, he, he, everything else gets blocked out, and he's into the jewel. I'm very excited to imagine what I can do with this amazing, beautiful diamonds and make it as a piece of jewelry. You take a look at a Fawaz design, and it stands apart from all other jewels. We have an exclusive collaboration with the Grisogono so that the best stones can be mounted in the most beautiful and the most creative pieces of jewelry, from uh, Mother Nature to the red carpet. Every stone can only give what it has to offer. Well, if you go for the emerald cut, there's only one way to take it. Depending, you can make a decision to go long, how, how long you'll go, but that's basically the only decision. This is definitely the, the largest stone that, that uh, we're working with in this, in this factory. The stone is gonna be a D color, no touches, no spots of brown or green lines. We wanna finish the best percent we can. If I try to make sure that every stone that comes through my hands, we take the most that the stone can give. Diamond is like wood, that so you can sow it and you can divide it. The next step is going to be just placing the carf along the grain line of the stone. And it's placing it right on the grain line and on the same angle 
as the green line. Once that carve is done, we place the knife into the carve, and with one little bang, hopefully, it will split in half. Yeah! Hey! This is the black line that was drawn on the stone for me, pointing me out the position on the stone where he wants me to cut it. I'm gonna be taking a dub. I'm gonna fix the diamond in there. And we're gonna make sure that the line where we're gonna be cutting is straight. Then we're gonna put it on the laser machine. So this is gonna take six hours and 19 minutes for the initial cut. tell us what the stone has to be cut. We, we can't decide, the stone decides what stone it's gonna be. An emerald cut this big, I don't remember seeing it. It comes probably once in 50 years. I'm stressed, it's a very challenging procedure. From the planning to the finish, it could take probably a year. Cutting could take a couple of months. But every, every day is a different challenge. You find different challenges in the stone. And at night, I'm, I'm dreaming of the stone. In the morning, I wake up, I'm thinking about the stone. Everything goes from the beginning I start the stone to the beginning I finish the stone. It's, I'm always thinking about the stone. Nice. Now I'm happy. Ah, oh, come on. You are a magician. Even though we are we grade and, and test uh, most of the important diamonds in the world to see something this special is is truly exciting. Even even after decades of doing this, we have a meticulous process of, of grading and identifying. So we will characterize the diamond and all of its properties, uh, grade it for the four C's: so the the color, the the cut, the clarity, and, and the color. Mr. Grozy brought us a fantastic. Uh, uh, emerald cut diamond of uh, more than 164 carats. It looks uh, to be of an exceptional purity. Uh, the color is uh, outstanding and I'm sure will go down in the archives as, as one of the more important diamonds in history. We were all speechless when we saw the nail done. It's, 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 it's more than unbelievable. Mr. Gruozzi is, is, I think, one of the uh, most innovative uh, artists in, in our field in jewelry. Uh, so I, I can't imagine what he'll do. But um, working with a masterpiece diamond like this, I'm sure he'll come up with a, a great idea to frame it and present it. I'm designing since almost 25 years. At this time, I was in a difficulty. It's like having a queen in front of me and not knowing how to express myself. C'était à la fois une peur et une excitation en même temps. Est-ce qu'on va être à la hauteur de la pierre C'était comme si, euh, au bout de 25 ans, on devait encore prouver ce que l'on était capable de faire. I start to think about different ideas. We designed something like uh, around 50, 40, 50, 60 different kind of, of, of design. Et puis, à un moment donné, on s'est dit, il faut qu'on se recentre sur de mettre en valeur réellement la pierre et le, le, le bijou doit venir habiller la pierre. Euh, donc là, on est parti sur un collier 
without interfering with the beauty of this uh, incredible stone, I dressed the, the, the piece around it. Being it Italian, I'm superstitious, and the green color it brings a lot of good luck. So if you see in our collection, there is quite a lot of green, mixing with any other stones. The queen is there alone, but surrounded by an incredible haute couture dress. Dans ce dessin, vraiment, je trouve qu'il y a tous les codes de De Rizogono sont, sont représentés. On a le raffinement, on a ces lignes très fluides. It looks very simple, but at the end of the day, is a, a piece with a huge character. From far away, you can see it without seeing the, the name of the brand. That is a is a De Rizogono piece. Le dessin, c'est le premier jet. C'est ce qui va nous dégager une émotion. Je vais devoir transmettre au joaillier et au sertisseur qu'est-ce qu'il veut exactement sur cette pièce. Ce n'est pas sur cette pièce-là qu'il va falloir que l'on fasse des erreurs. Il y a 66 euh, émeraudes poivre. On a dû faire 66 chatons différents. Il y a environ 700 heures sur cette partie-là entre la cire, l'empierrage, l'emmaillement et ensuite. Il y a environ 500 heures sur la partie euh, en diamant. Les emmaillements sont dans une partie quasiment fermée au niveau des, des émeraudes, alors que tout est ouvert du, du côté diamant. La problématique technique, c'est d'arriver à ce que les deux côtés fonctionnent de la même manière. L'idée, c'est de, de pouvoir, lorsque les pierres bougent, que cette forme de vague avec le poids des pierres tienne. Si l'emmaillement est trop rigide, le collier va mal se positionner. S'il est trop souple aussi, donc il faut trouver le juste équilibre pour pouvoir porter le collier, l'ouvrir et le manipuler. Le chaton a nécessité environ près de 100 heures de travail. Il y avait à l'intérieur toute la partie technique pour détacher le, le, le chaton du collier et le sertissage des petites pierres sur les battes et les griffes et les quatre baguettes qui maintiennent la pierre de centre. It's not point to talk too much until I show you what is inside. You ready? Hold it a second. I've been waiting for this moment for seven months now. So yes, let's open it, but slowly. I'll do my very best, I promise. Look at that. It's just unbelievable.
Creation One, a sensational asymmetric necklace with the 163.41 carat diamond as the centerpiece, enhanced with 18 emerald cut diamonds and 66 pear cut emeralds. The fact that it's not just diamond, but diamond and emerald is not clever, but very, very clever. And also I love the fact that you've done here this uh, uh, degradé of a small emerald cut, the ultimate in refinement as far as I'm concerned.